When a person loves a sport, that love becomes a lifelong relationship and can branch out into something amazing. Manny Hernandez's embrace of soccer has spanned continents and generations. As a player and coach, Hernandez helped build soccer into an indelible part of the South Bay's landscape. And it all began with a teenager who spoke no English, crossed the ocean alone, and faced an uncertain future. Born in Spain, Hernandez was sent to live with relatives in the East Bay after both his parents died. As a high schooler, he caught the eye of San Jose State soccer coach Julie Menendez. I saw Manny play several times at San Jose State for Julie Menendez. And the thing that most notable is he's a little guy with fabulous skills. And he, he was a team leader. Hernandez was not just the best player on his team, he earned the 1968 Herman Trophy as the best collegiate player in America. He took the Spartans to the NCAA Final Four. And in 1972, by then an American citizen, he joined the national team and scored crucial goals as the USA advanced to the Olympic Games for the first time in 12 years. His exploits made him a natural pickup for the original 1974 earthquakes of the North American Soccer League, and he did not disappoint. Manny Hernandez scored the first ever goal for the San Jose Earthquakes against the Van Vancouver Whitecaps on a cold, rainy day in British Columbia. I remember coming across the box and Manny just pounded it in. Hernandez was only five foot three inches tall, but huge in work ethic and knowledge. So it came as no surprise that after retiring as a professional player, he became a coach. After two stints with boys teams, he settled in at all-female presentation high school for a remarkable 31-year run as a popular Spanish teacher and a soccer master teacher. He guided his pupils to 17 league championships and eight Central Coast section titles. He taught young girls it was okay to be self-confident and aggressive in pursuit of victory. He could show you how to do a particular move. He could demonstrate exactly how he wanted a shot to be taken because I mean, he was a great soccer player and, and he could do it himself. When we would scrimmage and everything at the end of practice, you always wanted to be on his team because we were going to play until his team won the game. <laughs> For much of the Hernandez here at presentation, the school did not even have its own soccer field. But year after year, Hernandez helped develop some of the best players in the South Bay, including two Olympic medal-winning members of the USA national team. When other teams saw a presentation on the schedule, they knew that they were going up against a, a tough, well-organized, talented team who played with a lot of attacking flair. And when I think about Manny, that's his personality. Hernandez had several opportunities to coach at the university level, but he always remained loyal to presentation. And in turn, the school loved him back by finally acquiring land for a campus soccer field, Manny Hernandez Field. He is a legend in, in this community, Silicon Valley, the Bay Area. Uh, he has added so much and given so much back to the game of soccer. Manny's most significant achievement as a coach is impacting the lives of so many young women. It's gotta be thousands, thousands and thousands of women um, and, and girls at the high school age have gotten to learn from him. The love affair of Manny Hernandez and soccer continues today, even after his retirement from active coaching. But now that love affair has a symbol that the entire South Bay can see every time it visits the building in which we sit, his plaque in the San Jose Sports Hall of Fame.